I think it's the craziest feeling. Something doesn't feel right in, let's say, your leg or your tummy, maybe on your arm, and somehow, some way, it affects everything that you're doing that day. It's like, oh, my finger hurts. Well, what did you do? I don't know. It hurts. And everything that you do, your decision making, your planning, everything is infected. It's almost like the pain from that injured finger is a poison. What about the pain in your head and your heart? How much of that is silenced or is it embraced, loved, healed? Or does it constantly hit you every five seconds? And it poisons the way you think, the way you act and react and reply. Oh, my God. The way we reply sometimes to other people. A simple question or a request is brought forward and it's like... Say, whoa. Okay. What hurts? Your nose? <laughs> hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer, a silent wolf. I sit underneath the brush and I watch life. I hear life. I envision. I don't try to change. I'm just there to listen, then write about it. This is the Daily Mess. My essential job includes late teen employees, those that are anywhere between 15 and 19 years old. Their first step toward earning money is that job before heading out there to college or just doing something on their own in a really big but very small world. Because of the conditions of this modern day political planet, I really wanted to know, did they ever think of the nuclear threats coming our way from North Korea and Russia? Do you think about it? Are you worried about it? And they all said, no, no. One did say, it's not that we don't think about it or talk about it. We just don't invest in making it a reason to bring up fear. Oh, which I totally understand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because with everything going wrong in the world and especially locally, the thought of out of control bombs destroying things forever feels more like a sci-fi flick than physicality. As young adults still in high school, there are other methods of madness. Staying focused on now is what is now, and it helps provide them a stronger core of survival. Come on. We all worry. Thinking openly about it helps heal other people. Remember, every news story that's on the 5 o'clock news and the front page of that newspaper always talks about the silent neighbor. The one the people next door always say, I, I, he was very quiet. I, I, I didn't think twice about him. He was just always there. He's the one that did it. Are you asking the questions? Have you talked with your teenagers? What is going through their head in this moment of where we stand on this planet? An economy in the United States that they keep saying, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Let me tell you right now, my parents did not pay for food as much as we are today. They did not. The price of gas. They did not pay the price of gas the way we are today. But they always said that they lived the harder times. And if the people that are in control of the economy are saying, it's headed here. It's going to be a bad time. I, I have to shake my head. Because how long have they been saying this? And how long can you say the sky is falling before the rest of us say, eh, eh, let's go someplace else. Let's find our news someplace else. The same is true about the war in Ukraine. A year ago, we were all talking about it. Today, it just seems to be a part of our life. But in fact, we should always embrace what is going on over there. And, and not to get political. I don't want to do that. We know what's happening. We know the violations that have taken place. But nobody is being held accountable. Okay, so what are we going to do about it as a globe? That's what we're waiting for. It's almost like the second coming of Christ. We're waiting. They said he's coming. Where is he at? Is it today? If it was today, would we recognize him? Or would he be arrested just like he was before he started to rise? Whew. The essential job, every one of our jobs, they are blanketed and blessed with the next generation that follows us. Ask the questions. Find out where they are and how they feel. You don't have to agree, 
But at least you're asking. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.